Good afternoon, everybody. Today we are going to talk about doing a no normal distribution problem using Excel. So I'll share my computer screen with you. <clears throat> SAT codes are normally distributed with a mean of 1028 and standard deviation of 92. Part A, find the probability that a student's SAT score will exceed 1200. And part B, find the 90th percentile score. Part C, SAT scores of 30 students are selected at random. Find the probability that the mean score of 30 students exceeds 1200. So first we will do part A. So the mean is equal to 1028, 1028 and standard deviation, I'll write it in the short form std.div dot is uh, standard dot div dot is equal to 92 so we want to find what is the probability that a student score exceed 1200 that means we want to find the area to the right of 1200 now in excel there is a function that you can use to find this area how do you do that so first to find the answer, you type equal to, then you type norm, N O. Okay, then you select norm dot test, norm dot test means normal distribution, and inside the parentheses you have to type in that order. So we want to find the area to the right of 1200. So my first argument that is X is 1200, 1200. My mean is uh, 1028, 1028, 1, 0, 2, My standard deviation is 92. And I want the area to the right, okay? <clears throat> so, to the right, okay? But if I type in true, that will give me the area at up to 1200. So 10, 1028 is a mean in the middle. I want the area to the right of the 1200. The best way to do it is first to find the cumulative area. Cumulative means starting from the left, very left end of the normal curve at minus infinity up to 1200. What is the area? We know the total area under the normal curve is 1. So from 1 we will subtract the result we will find. So we will say true. And put parenthesis. So that is 0 0.96923. So this is the, this is the area. area under the normal curve curve to the right of to the left of sorry to the left of 1200 but we want to so we want to find the area one two if I move it. Want to find the area to find the area to the left of 
to the we already found to the left of we want to find the area to the right of 1200 this is same as probability of finding a score finding a score greater than 1200 okay so this will be equal to one total area under the curve is one minus the area to the left of 1200 minus and so it will be equal to one minus now that area to the left of 1200 is in cell a11 okay and hit enter so that's your answer 0 0.03077 so <laughs> that's part a part b i want to find the 90th percentile okay part b part b find the 90th percentile find the 90th percentile percentile 90th percentile so there is a there is a function in excel that will also do it percentile okay so equal to okay equal to now not norm distribution you can try norm okay norm if you do we want to use norm dot in norm dot in okay we want to find the 90th percentile so the area under the area under the normal curve to the left of the unknown score is 0 0.9 comma okay 0 0.9 Sorry, I did it wrong. Point nine, comma. Mean is one thousand twenty-eight. And standard deviation is uh, 92. So the arguments inside the parenthesis are the area to the left of the unknown x. Area to the left is 90.9 because we want to find the 90th percentile. The mean is 1028. That's the next one. The third argument that we type inside the parenthesis is the standard deviation which is 92 okay and that is 1145.9 so here i will write down use use norm dot in Okay, right, yeah, and here I will write use norm dot dist norm dot dist. Okay. So that takes care of part A and part B. Part C says, uh, let me type this clearly. So part C, part C says uh, norm dot in. Okay, and that one was norm dot dist, this one is norm dot in. 
and part C, SAT scores of 30 students are selected at random. Find that probability that the mean score of 30 students exceeds 1200. Okay. Here also we will find the area to the left of 1200. Then from one we will subtract that area to find the area under the normal curve that exceeds 1200 on the right of 1200. But the point here is here we are talking about sampling distribution of means or the probability distribution of the means. So we have to remember for part C, part C is uh, dealing with sampling distribution of means, distribution of means. In this case, uh, mean is equal to the same as the mean of the population, which is 1,028. 1,000, sorry, 1,028. How about the standard deviation? This is different from what we have used before because here we are dealing with the sampling distribution. Standard deviation is equal to is equal to standard deviation is equal to maybe I should write it out here. Standard deviation is uh, standard deviation of the population, which is ninety two divided by square root of thirty because we selected thirty students. That's what we have to use for square root, uh, standard deviation. So that standard deviation is equal, uh, standard deviation equal to 92 is the standard deviation of the population divided by SQRT square root of the sample size 30. So this is the standard deviation we have to use in this case. We cannot use third. Uh, we cannot use 92 because we are dealing with the sampling distribution of probability distribution of sample means. So, so then again, we have to use norm distribution. Use norm dot dist. dot dist with mean with mean equal to 1028 and standard deviation and standard deviation equal to 16 16.797 16.797 Okay, so let's do it. So cumulative area. Cumulative area. That means area to the left of 1200. Left of 1200. Okay. Is equal to norm. N-O-R. Norm dot dist. And then uh, your mean, mean is 1028, 1028, sorry, mean first, not mean, first the, the number that we are interested to find the area to the left of 1200, 1200, comma, mean is 1028, 1028, 1028. Standard deviation is 16.797. 16.797 and comma true because we are calculating the area to the left of 1200. Okay. Everything correct? Yes. And hit enter. Okay, that area is almost one. Okay, hence area to the right 
of 1200 is equal to 1 minus 1200 is equal to is I should write is 1 minus 1. First one is a total area under the curve. An area to the left of 1200 is also 1. Is 1 minus 1, which is equal to 1 minus 1 is 0. Okay. So, probability of sample mean scores to exceed 1200 is 0. Okay, so that's the end of it. So you use either the norm dot dest, and remember you will put true at the end, which means cumulative area, that is area to the left of the number. And if you want the area to the right of the number in the real problem, then you have to subtract from one the cumulative area. And when you want to find out the particular percentile, you have to use norm dot in. And then you put area, mean, and standard deviation inside the argument, and you will get the 90th percentile. In this case, the 90th percentile is 1145.9. That means 90% of the scores are below 11145.9. And when we take samples of 30 students, um, the probability of the mean of 30 scores of 30 students to exceed 1200 is almost zero. So I'll stop here today. If you have any question or comment, you can always send me an email. or I mean, you can always contact me by sending a message and I'll get back to your message as soon as possible. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please share with your friends. You and your friends, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. I'll see you next time with another interesting problem, interesting solution. Take care. Have a nice day.